Hello my good people and welcome to the Great As Next channel and today it is cooking time from my simple Doha kitchen. Yes, we are preparing cassava. In Kenya, we call it muhogo. And in my traditional language, we call it muhogo. So welcome and uh, let's prepare muhogo. And you can even comment, tell us how you call it in your traditional language, how you call the cassava. Comment. thing you do with your muhogo, you are supposed to peel them. It depends. Some people uh, get them straight from the from the garden, so you have to to wash them first to remove the mud, so that you can start now. You slice, then you start now removing the peel. Now, while you are removing your peels, be extra careful because of the knife and uh, the way you are peeling it. It's supposed to be gentle. <laughs> so be careful while you're doing it. Okay. If you want to find out that your muhogo is uh, fresh, the peels are supposed to come out uh, softly, no, without struggling. So when you see you're struggling to remove the peels out, know that your muogo is not fresh. Like some of mine, I'm struggling to remove them. You see, I have to use the knife to remove them. But some of the pieces are very fresh because they can come out easily without struggling. I got this muogo from the supermarket near me and they are from Sri Lanka. you know you have to finish well not to leave any pills on the on the muhogo because uh, the pills of muhogo are toxic so ensure you are removing everything every pill is going out yes you are not supposed to struggle with the pill to come out this is how it's supposed to be this is the way we do it in the village softly no struggles. After you've done your peeling and your cleaning of the cassava, you put water in a pan, you put some salt, and you put your cassava in and start boiling on the fire. They should not take long because you are not supposed to overheat them. They are supposed to be well done. Now our cassava is ready. You can see this is well done. It is not overcooked. It is not uh, undercooked. It is just well done. We have many different ways you can uh, cook or prepare your cassavas. Like in my village where I come from, this is the best way, boiling. <laughs> And the food is mainly for breakfast. You take it with the tea or a porridge in my village. But in towns, you can eat it at any time. Depends on how and what time you love it to be served. That is your choice. And another thing, we have different ways to cook them. You can fry them. You can uh, roast. You can also boil them. We have different ways that whichever way you love it to be cooked you go ahead thank you for your company and see you in my next video and please subscribe bye